I am truly blessed to be a part of your life, which as of today becomes our life together. I honestly couldn't imagine this life without you. Our concert dates, road trips, late nights spent in our car meets, our Harry Potter marathons, and of course, all the Saturdays that you spend in the fall watching my Alabama football games with me. I always tell you that proposing to you was the best decision I have ever made. It is now the second. Today I am marrying you and it, this is the best decision of my life. My sweet boy, people often talk about how difficult relationships are, and I just can't relate. <laughs> they say love is hard, but our love is the easiest and most special thing in the entire world, and the most special thing I've ever experienced. And after eight years of love and laughter with you, I'm so ready to be your wife. Welcome friends and family. We are gathered here today to witness and to celebrate the marriage of Cody and Anna. This is not a beginning of a new relationship, but an acknowledgement of the next chapter in their lives. Cody and Anna have spent over eight and a half years getting to know each other, and we now bear witness to what relationship has become. When we first started dating, you were 15 and I was 17. While walking from the parking lot to my first period class, I couldn't help but stop in the parking lot and just stare. From that moment, I knew I was looking at my future wife. I knew there was something special about you. Anna is my little sister. She's 15 years younger than me. She was like the best surprise that ever happened. I named her Anna because I thought it sounded like royalty, which she looks like today. From the time that I met Cody, I knew you guys were forever. I knew all the trips, all the time, all the, can Cody come? All of it. Anna around you is the happiest Anna and that's all we've ever wished for her. So thank you, like genuinely so much. You make Anna the happiest and I can't imagine her life without you. You're the man I've always dreamed about and prayed for. I can't think. God enough for aligning our path and bringing us to each other. I know I say this all the time, but you're honestly the most amazing man I've ever met. I went to college with Cody. We had most classes together. And it was always the weirdest thing because class would get out and I'd go, where's Cody? I, I see him walking away, he's on his phone, and he's just talking to someone and I'm going, wow, he really loves his mother. And then after a while I realized, it's a girl. He's talking to a girl named Anna. That explains it. Okay, so that's when I knew. I think he's a little head over heels for her. Dork. Man, you are beautiful. Hey, you make me cry. You look amazing. So there's love for friends, love for family, and finally, love for a significant other. We're all here today because we all have the exact same connection between these two. We're all friends, we're all family, and we all have our significant others in one way, shape, or form. And there's eight years of that with you two. So there's going to be challenges, there's going to be love, there's going to be passion. And there's just going to be such a big roller coaster of life that you guys are just going to have to ride. And it's going to be a fun one. I'm thinking of you, are you thinking of me? Tell me I hardly listen when I speak. today 
than I ever could have imagined when we first met. But honestly, the truth is that I've known that I wanted to spend the rest of my life with you since I was 15 years old. I've always dreamt of marrying someone who pushes me to be the best man I can be. I could not imagine life without you. It's an added bonus that you are the most beautiful girl in the world. Right here, right now, I will only love you more and more each day of our marriage. And I vow to love you unconditionally, to stay and fight because you are worth the fight, to face all of life's challenges together. And what I have come to realize over the past eight and a half years together is that one lifetime with you will never feel like enough. You fill my life with so much love, laughter, and joyous moments. And I can't wait for all the future moments and memories we get to have together. I love you so much, Cody, and I always will. For the boy you were, the man you've become, and all the versions of you I can't wait to meet, I promise to love you always until God decides to call one of us home. I love you. We'll be movers and shakers and leaves on trees. It is my we pleasure to introduce to you for the first time ever, Mr. Food. and Mrs. Cody and Anna Prouse. And I don't really care, it doesn't matter to me, because I know that I'll be with you. Yes, I know that I'll be with you.